Hey guys, I'm Jamzam90. This is my modded survival single player series, episode 2. I have actually added a few mods. Let's see. One mod I have added is Thumbcraft. Excuse the slight lag. And I have also added. Wait for it, because my computer's being a tidbit laggy. Project Red. Another quite good mod. I think those are the only two I have. Oh, wait. Actually, I've added another one. Nether Ores as well. Adds a bunch of ores. I have actually disabled some things in Nether Ores, which means it doesn't explode. I don't like explodey blocks. Let's see if I can get out the door. And right there is a great wood tree. And I'm not in a bat morph, so I can't fly. So we have a nice looking great wood tree right over here. I believe we have some Thumbcraft ore somewhere around here. Well, there's a desert, so... Um, the little... The little... Uh, whatever these things are called. <laughs> Forgot what they're called. What are they called? Cinder Pearl. And then we have those lying around, and I'm unsure quite all what we have. I have actually set the research mode to easy, considering I really don't like researching stuff. However, we still have to get all the stuff we need to research it. If I remember correctly, what I was looking for is over here somewhere. Yep, not in that one. Is it in this one? I, yes. Mine these guys up. There we go. Get some air shards. Go back over to first base and um hmm. Going down. Go back into the house. However, we do have something we need to do, and that is finish the smeltery we attempted to start, and how the heck did you get in my house? And they should not be able to spawn. At all. F7. You guys saw that, and what the... Did they just walk out the door? Okay, I know they can spawn in here, but I didn't have enough torches. Hmm. That is weird. So what we're gonna do... Get a cup of coal. Do this. Do this. Get some torches. Buy up the corners a bit. There we go. Go over here. Light that up a bit. Eat some food. Stick stuff into the furnace. Get my pork chops. Okay, guys, I will be back in a second once everything is all smelted up. Okay, guys, I'm almost done with the smeltery, and it looks like I should probably sleep the night away. Over here. Wait a second. There we go. Go collect the iron I was smelting. I need one stone. I hear a skeleton, but I don't have a sword. I actually have sword blade patterns. But I'm going to be lazy and not 
do anything about it because it's already handled. The wrench I'm making is from Engineer's Toolbox, like the tooltip says, from well, yeah. Let me out. If you notice, I have already filled it out with lava. Okay, I did not want to do that one. I need a bat morph. Go up. Operating with minor light is a little difficult. And, um, where is it? At? Eh? Okay, that's interesting. Huh, that's actually quite cool. Now, if you notice, I didn't actually make one of the spout things for this, because you can actually do the same thing with that. I need a redstone signal, though. Meaning I need a stick and a piece of cobble. Here's more cobble over here. Don't have any wood in that chest. Lag out while it's closing. Go over to the chest that has no wood in it. Get that stick. Quickly craft a lever. There we go. Head back out. Wait. I need to hunt down my books though. There's no book in there. Is there a book in here? I don't need either of those, actually. I need the smeltery book. Let's see. Hurry up, computer. I don't have all day. Thank you. Let's see. We can make bronze, but what we need to make is aluminum brass, which is three aluminum and one copper. Okay, then. So, I'm going to grab one copper, three aluminum. Now, because it's one copper for every three aluminum, this is probably going to end up making six ingots. Let me check. Possibly. And if you notice, you can make glue, you can make liquefied invert, Emeralds by milking down villager, blood blood by damaging entities and the smeltery, slime. You can make that. Well, you can actually find it on um, Slime Islands, Ender, which is by melting down intercrows or Endermen. Hmm. It appears there are quite a few different things you can make. So go over here, go down one. Toss in the aluminum, toss in that. I probably want to grab an ingot so I can make an ingot cast real quick. Go over here. Go over here. I'll use a copper ingot. Head it back out. If I can get out the door. Go over here. But not only can you pump out, but you can pump back in as well. Maybe I shouldn't do that yet. So what I'm gonna do? Pump it all back in. Okay, I have eight ingots of it. Do this. Make eight ingot cast. Flip that real quick. I'm just going to close that off. 
this is that. I'm just gonna toss the casts into there. Should be able to be melted back down. Huh. Apparently, you can't melt them back down. Which is strange. Thought you could. So that means we will get probably about five ingots out of this. Yep. There we go. I will go put the ingot casts up. I'll probably do something with them. Let's see, what else can we do? Well, I know what we can do. Turn all this copper into blocks. One moment, guys. I have to check something. If I can put the fa password on, on my phone. I have a clue what that was about. Probably about one of the games I played on. Play on, though. Let's see. Nope. Okay, let's see. I can smell 18 things at a time. I'm gonna quickly break this. Stick casting the basin down. Make sure it doesn't get filled up yet. What I'm gonna do is shove nine pieces of copper in. We're gonna go wait for those to smelt while I um, find myself a pick I can use on some copper ore. Well, that's gonna be near useless. I need a sword, though. Hmm. I'm gonna put this here. Collect some aluminum brass. I need to make a stone pick at head. I collect that last piece of cobble. Go here, or put that there, stick that there, stone pickaxe head, tool binding takes half a cobble, and a tool ra rod also takes half a cobble. What I'll go do is grab this, actually that can wait for now, unless, let's see, do I have a pickaxe head? No. Have quite a few different things, but I want to make pickaxe. I'll get this. What I'll do is stick this here. Get that. Toss these two in here. Those I will be using to make a pickaxe. If you notice, one. Wait for it. Two copper blocks. Now what I need to do is pull this guy out for now. Switch it out with this. Where do the pickaxe first? I'm gonna stick that, that guy there in. I'm gonna go collect my iron. How much copper I have in my inventory? Six blocks. So let's see. I have a lot of tin, but iron is what we're gonna be using in a second. here and 
do this. Toss in another one. Okay, guys, I will be back in a second once I finish making all the patterns I need. Okay, guys, we have about 15 minutes left. Only that, the smeltery has finished doing what I had it do. So what I'm going to do is find is toss in a piece of iron. Get a iron. This may take a bit longer than normal. So I'm going to go and bat, bat more. Hmm. Now only if I had a portal gun. I want to melt some stuff in my smelter. So wait a little bit more. Go go cow or three. Nah, we're we'll just killing one cow. Go over here, fly back over, go see if we have anything in there. Still not melted yet. It's melted. We should have an iron pick though. Or two. Now see if I can mount this back up though. Which I can, which is nice. So let's see what am I looking for. I need my casting table. Stick that down, do that. It's a little bit of unreliable method we're using, because it's uh, difficult to control. Just wait for it. Waiting, waiting, eating pork chop. Feels like it takes forever, but it really doesn't. It's almost done, I think. I did say almost done. Hurry up and get the white hot already and melt. It should be melted up by about now. Go over here, click this. That. Then we will do this. There we go. Now I have everything I need to make myself a iron pick. Go over here. Go into here. Go here. Um, stick pickaxe head, this and then this pickaxe which has reinforced one. Now I can get rid of the stone pick and shove everything else into a furnace for now or into a chest. I will be back in a second once I've done some mining. Okay guys, I'm back. I had to restart my client after death. Currently I am processing all my orders. Luckily this is quite helpful. I put in about 18 blocks of copper, meaning I'm going to get 4 blocks of co 4 blocks of copper back or 18 copper ore, I mean. There we go. Go over here. Let's see. 15 iron. How much tin do I have? Well, right here is going to be 1510. Boom, boom, boom. If you agree with me that that is quite a bit tin, I'll turn that off real quick. And let's see if it all turns into the same tin. Okay, tick, 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 tick. 
Now, lead will give lead, if I remember right. Five copper. I have aluminum I need to process as well. Let's see, is that, yep, 36 bucks of molten tin. Now we will pump it all out into the uh, casting basin. Get four blocks of tin to go with the four blocks of copper we previously got. Although we have six blocks of copper now. Now this is how you do easy or doubling. Without a need for timers. Um, uh, six, ten, or more. Let our guess will be next. Um, I haven't a clue why lead is blue in there. Let me check. I have no clue why it's giving that texture. Let's just hope it dumps. It gives us lead back. Okay, yeah, it does. That there is two blocks of lead that we got as well. If I remember correctly, we have about, or when I started this, we had about nine minutes left. Or 11 minutes. Now I'm gonna do this. Move that. Put this one there. I should probably make a hopper, which will almost certainly make this a lot faster. Do this. Do 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 do. Hunt down a hopper. It appears I don't have any iron in there. I have a couple pistons from when I raided some building. I can melt that down for iron. I was looking for one of these as well. I'll get a chest ready for it. Do, 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 do. Ah, I do have a chest in here. Good. Remember, I can do that, so I can craft it pretty much from my inventory when I need it. I'll put that down, do this. Toss in the iron bars. This one may take a while. Okay, I will be back in one second, guys. Okay, guys, I've automated the output of this. I have some silver, aluminum, tin, and copper all going to be coming out. Aluminum appears to have gone first. Yep. Then we go over here. We have 12 ingots of molten tin, 12 ingots of molten, molten silver. Um, I'm pulling the copper out because that's going to be asking for bronze. Now this may take some time fully pump out. There we go. Now the tin is getting pumped. You can also make steel using this as well, so I could have made a steel pickaxe instead of the iron one. I actually just remembered that you can make a steel pickaxe with this. 
Okay, all 12 ingots of tin are out. Next is the silver ingots. And there's someone smacking me from behind. It's the king of the zombie medics. At least we haven't came across um, thumb zombies yet. Also, I have disabled mob griefing. Of course, I got creeper a minute ago. Twice. If you notice, that is what happens. I'm wondering if all my. Are you guys not gonna let me get my stuff? I just got slain again. I need a pick. I think I have a pick in here. And of course there's a zombie in my house. Sorry about the lag spike. Okay guys, I'll be back in a sec. Okay guys, we have about four minutes left. Holy herds of zombies! And I die. Again. Okay, one second guys. I'm lagging out. Okay guys, this is the end of the episode. This was... I am Jimson90. This was episode 2 of my survival single player series of season 2.3. I have already put up a mods list, which I need to add Project Red to. I've died a bit too many times now. If you would like to, you may like, subscribe, even make a comment, or you may even dislike. Do whatever you want to do. I really don't care if you do it or you don't. I'm just recommend you do something along those lines. Well, I'm out of here, guys.